Virgo, welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Virgo, thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, and donations to my channel. They truly mean the world to me. If you want to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description below. And if you want a private reading, more information about that will be in the About tab on my page. Virgo, I apologize. They're doing construction outside, so you might hear that humming vibration noise in the background. Totally understand if you click off of this video. Hope to see you again soon. If not, Virgo, today we are getting into what they wish they could say to you, right? The person that is on your mind, um, what they wish they could say to you, but probably won't have a chance to because you have separated, elevated, right? You separated, elevated, and now you're celebrating yourself. But <clears throat> we are going to take a look at how they feel about how things played out, how you feel about how things played out. And if they had another chance, what, what would they say to you? Usually, if they were doing construction... <clears throat> I would not record this. I'd wait until they stop, but I got a busy day today, so we're going we're gonna to get through this message. All right. First, Virgo, we're going to take a look at how you feel about how things played out in the situation that you're thinking of. Cheat. You feel cheated, Virgo. You feel like either they could have literally cheated. Hopefully not, but... <clears throat> All in all, I feel like you feel like you feel played. <clears throat> Being decent only relates to those who play fair. So it's your choice to play by the rules or bend them. As long as you are fair and reasonable, reasonable, play hard. So Virgo, you definitely could have felt like they were not playing fair. After cheat, we have shock. I don't know if you can see that. Being alarmed at what is happening is a healthy response for your own preservation. You need to stay alert and watch for further signs so you can protect yourself. So we got cheat, shock, um, Virgo. I don't know if this was a romantic connection that you're thinking of, but if it was, it does not seem like you were happy with the outcome with how things played out. It seems like you felt, you felt wronged, you know? <laughs> You definitely could have found out that you were cheated on. That could have surprised you, could have shocked you. All in all, you just, there was an unequal give and take. And uh, there was no reciprocity in this connection. And you came to terms with that or you became aware of that. Last one. Unhappiness. Damn, Virgo. I'll make it up. Searching for contentment is a well-traveled path that can be elusive. The hunt for happiness might not conclude at the destination, but joy can be found during the journey itself. So I feel like you had to really derive the beauty out of the pain in order to move forward and move on, which is another part of the reason why I feel like this person won't even have another chance at telling you what they want to tell you. You know, I feel like they kind of ruin things pretty badly Virgo and they they definitely have to know that if they cheated on you or even just treated you in such an unfair way that you felt cheated right not like cheating in a romantic way but like if they were treating you in such a way that was making you feel cheated out of the energy that you were giving them and that they were giving you you know See the tower on the split. Mm. This was a messy, messy ending or a messy connection. And this doesn't have to be romantic, right? This can be familial. This can be platonic. However, it's resonating for you. But there was definitely a very, a very prevalent sense of unhappiness um, towards the end of this connection. And it was not something that you expected. It, it surprised you. How did this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Purity. So you definitely... <laughs> I like that. 
One more. Two more. We have family. This person saw you as family. The love that you had for them or the love that you... So you definitely could be dealing with family. This could be a family member. Or they saw you as somebody that was, you know, there was potential for a family to be created. All in all, this person felt like you kept them pure in spirit. You kept them grounded. You kept them feeling... You were a breath of fresh air. And also we have growth as the last card out. You made this person feel like they were continuously growing, right? When you interacted with their energy, card number 44. When you interacted with their energy, uh, Virgo, you did something to them that made them feel like they were a part of something bigger than themselves with family, growth, and purity. This person, their ego, their pride, it all seemed to wash away when they were with you or when they were in contact with you, right? Damn. You made them feel whole. You made them feel like there was a reason to look forward to tomorrow. Okay, that was a bit deep. You made them feel like they could continuously grow, right? There was no, the sky was the limit when they were with you, Virgo. <clears throat> So let's see what they wish they could say to you now. Because now we see how they really feel. We have the magician. I feel like they want to tell you <clears throat> that they're more in control than they used to be. <clears throat> Sorry. Three of Wands or Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. See, cheat, shock, unhappiness. I feel like this ended because of their lack of control, because of their desire to build with others when they should not have been building with others. And I feel like they want to tell you whether they have or not. They want to express to you that they now have the control to basically mm, be loyal, right? They're not looking to build with others. They're not looking to... Uh, look outside of you and the connection that they had in order to gain something in life. We also have the Queen of Wands. Mm. I feel like they want to tell you that they respect you now or they see you um, for the beautiful energy that you are or that you bring to the table. We also have the Four of Swords. So maybe they want to tell you that they have been doing the healing that you were requiring of them before things went to shit and we have the seven of wands in reverse <clears throat> so uh, okay bottom of the deck the six of swords i feel like this person is um they've made up their mind that they don't want to move on or that they're trying to move on but they can't move on without at least resolving whatever conflict with the five of swords in reverse was had between you two i feel like intuitively you might get a sense of this or for this um, but I also feel like you kind of took your love off of the table with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords. They want to communicate something to you. <sighs> but I don't feel like you're really entertaining them. But I do feel like this person wants to tell you that they have made a choice, right? They made a definitive decision on the direction that they want to head in regards to their own personal healing and growth. I feel like they want to express to you that they're actually committed and i say this like with almost sarcasm because i don't know if this is i really don't see this being genuine um but i feel like they want to express to you or portray to you that they have committed to this path of healing and growth outside of um their manipulative energy because I feel like now they feel like they're in control of themselves and they want to express this to you to show you how much they've grown. But in the past, they were. It wasn't that they were lacking control. It was that they were being manipulative. Right. They wanted they wanted um, everything. Right. They could not just have just you. That wasn't enough in the past. Right. Your wisdom, your insight, your love, your care. Right. 
you the family that you were for to this person was not enough for them in the past virgo so they had to source outside of you to get the fulfillment that they truly already had they just wanted even more right their greed took over but i feel like they want to express to you that they're no longer juggling anything they're no longer building with other people they're no longer looking outside of you to get the fulfillment that they wish or that that you brought them right they're now trying to let you know that they are in control of themselves so much to a point due to the healing they've done so much so much so to a point where they don't need anyone except you because you are the fulfillment that they need and that they had. I feel like they're not they're trying to show you or express to you or they wish to express to you um, that they're not so defensive because I feel like in the past when you confronted them of certain things, um, very serious things, they probably got really defensive at first. Instead of just owning, you know, instead of taking accountability and owning what they did or who they were, they would get defensive and try to flip it on you and basically not acknowledge you for you, right? They, they didn't want to see you for who you were. But now it's like without you, they're, they have no choice but to surrender <laughs> to this fact because without you, they're not as happy. They're, they're, they don't feel as whole. Right. They're not growing to the same degree or at the same rate that they used to grow when you were in their life. And so I feel like they want to show you or express to you in some way, shape or form that they've made up their mind now. They're done playing games and that they want to show you how much they've grown. They want to resolve some type of conflict that you guys had. Two of cups in reverse, four of cups in reverse. I just don't think you're here for it. Three of swords in reverse. I think what's done is done. You're not working on it anymore. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Ten of wands. Their energy is too much. Dealing with them is too stressful for you. Nine of swords in reverse. Ten of pentacles. This definitely could have been a party, someone that was a part of your family or like somebody that you had a family with, Virgo. But the stress is not worth the... The risk outweighs the reward. That's what I'm trying to say. Clarify the magician. Emperor, knight of pentacles in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse. They did too little too late is what I'm seeing. Yes, they regained this control. But I feel like they want to express, they want to show you that they're actually serious now. That they'll respect your boundaries and that they... um. They're not playing the same games, right? They've regained some sense of stability in their life or control. But I also feel like they want to acknowledge to you to some degree that they know that they they might feel like they did too, too little too late. And I feel like they want to express that to you to show you how much they've grown. Clarify the three of pentacles in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. The lovers, damn. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. The lovers and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, they want you back. <laughs> They're done bullshitting you. They're done building with other people. They want you to know this. They're done um, trying to juggle you. They just want something pure with you, something real with you, and they want to express this to you, right? Even if this is just like a family member or a friendship, this is somebody that's they're no longer looking outside of you to be fulfilled within the connection. They don't need something else to fulfill them. They need you. And this is what they want to express to you. I feel like the memories of the past are something that haunts between you two or between you and whoever you're thinking about. The memories of the past is something that haunts them. And they want, they want that haunting to stop. That was interesting. Clarifying the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to apologize to you for not taking your emotions seriously in the past. I feel like they just brought everything that you would express to them or the things that you would say to them, Virgo. They kind of just, um, 
They didn't take your emotions seriously. And I feel like they want to apologize to you for that because now they see you for who you are. They want to take you seriously. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. Um, I feel like they're recognizing you for who you are now. But again, with the too little, too late. Four of Swords, Four of Wands, the Hierophant in reverse. Mm. Yeah, I feel like they want to express to you, Virgo, that it's not too late. They want to try to convince you that it's not too late to try again or to try and restart or rebuild um, the commitment that you guys had with each other or to each other. I feel like they're in full awareness that they ruined this. They... They're in full awareness that they ruined this divine commitment or that this divine union, right? They're in full awareness that they are the ones that need to do the healing. They are the ones that need to grow. They are the ones that ruined what you guys were building together. And I feel like they want to express this to you to show you how much um, they have grown. See, three of wands in reverse. They're, they don't want to move on without you. You made them feel whole. The cycle is not complete in their eyes, right? Ten of swords in reverse, six of wands. The cycle is not complete until you get on board with whatever it is they desire to express to you. Even if this person has moved on and, you know, they're no longer in your life and they're with somebody else, like this is in their, in their psyche, in their subconscious. Like they feel very guilty for ruining what you guys had together. Not that you care at all. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I do see this. They feel like they ruined something that had a lot of potential, like genuine potential. Clarify seven of wands in reverse. Two of swords. Page of wands in reverse and the two of swords. Um, yeah. It just gives the energy of like, I'm done playing games. I've made the decision to stop playing games. And that's why these defenses, this defensive nature that this person would gravitate towards in order to mm, prove themselves right or make it. OK, this is what I'm trying to say. This person's pride in the past got the best of them a lot of the times, right? When they would know they're in the wrong, instead of admitting they were in the wrong, they would get defensive. This person is trying to show you or express to you that they have they're done. They're done playing the victim, right? Page of Wands reverse and the Two of Swords. They're done playing the victim. The why me? Why are you targeting me? Um, I feel like this person is just they're They got fed up with themselves or they want to show you or express to you that they got fed up with themselves and they're ready for something new with you. They're not really trying to be so defensive. They're trying to own up and take accountability for all their wrongdoings. But they also feel like, you know, they did a little too little too late. We have judgment and they know this. They know this. Ace of Swords. They know this. They do want to communicate something to you, though. The devil and the death in reverse. I feel like they want to express this truth to you that they were the toxic one. They know that they were the toxic one. I feel like everybody in this situation knows that they were the toxic one. So I don't think that's news to you. I think they just want to show you that they're ready to take accountability. King of Swords in reverse and the Magician on the split. I feel like they're ready to stop lying to you or they want to portray a version of themselves that seems ready to stop lying to you. Any advice for Virgo? The Hangman. Yeah, don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything they say. Knight of Swords. And you know what? Ace of Cups. Page of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Last card. Two of Swords in reverse. Same way that they're ready to stop playing with you and make up their mind. You know, my advice to you is... Keep your mind made up because it looks like you already made up your mind. You chose to be honest, express your truth, 
look at things from a different perspective, give them a chance. That didn't work. So then you took a new beginning. You lost interest in them. You let this tower fall and you stopped communicating with them. So stand on your decision. Stand on your choice, right? You didn't make that choice for no reason, Virgo. This didn't work out for no reason, right? This didn't work out because this person was not a part of your soul's path, right? In the long run. Mm. Well, with this tower here on the bottom, you got to let that shit fall away. Last card out, Four of Swords, and continue to do whatever healing you're doing, right? This new beginning is here for a reason, right? In love, emotionally, you're separated for a reason, right? Standing in your power, standing in your truth, attracting a lot of very vibrant energies towards you because this low vibrational energy is out of your life. So keep moving in that way. Judgment, right? You made up your mind, so stand on it. That's my advice to you, Virgo. I hope you have a great day.